Hey guys, what's going on? So it's been a little while since I've done my last cosplay review as I have not actually had time to buy any. <laughs> since the last time I posted, I got a new job, starting five classes, got married, been a little busy. But um, just like last time, I got new cosplay from Sim Cosplay. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. They got pretty legit prices. Um, you know, I didn't really know what to expect the first time I bought from them. I didn't know... Um, I didn't have any reviews. I didn't know anybody bought from them. Uh, you know, actually, my wife is the one who stumbled on them. We were getting uh, uh, Kylo Ren and Rey cosplay for uh, last year's Art at Comic Con. Or, well, this this year, but soon to be last. Anyways, um, we really thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, you can check in the description below. I'll have a link to my Kylo Ren uh, box opening as well as uh, the review. Uh, you know, give them a check out. Uh, they're on Facebook. They have their website, simcosplay.com. They have really good prices, consistent sales, especially around now since it's Halloween. They're doing a lot of different stuff with that. But uh, it finally came in yesterday, which I was really, really excited about. Um, I did the Green Arrow uh, Season 8 costume. And I will say that I wish I would have looked a little bit harder on their website. They have about five variants of this cosplay on there. And I've got to say, I really dig season five because it had um, more of the uh, gauntlets rather than just the whole sleeve and get up and whatnot. But we'll see how this works out. Um, I also had to order, uh, oddly, this is one thing I will say was a bit of a negative review about. I had to order uh, a mask separately. <laughs> when other cosplay that was on their website did actually have it. So when I asked them about it, they said, yeah, it doesn't come with that but they come with others. So that was weird. Anyway, 25 bucks on Amazon. I select it because the color was really, really close to what you're gonna see here today. And um, and it was of good quality. This is very form-fitting. So this is not the cheapy plastic that just sits over your face and it's very, very uncomfortable. This sits over you and it actually like form fits. It, it's nice. So I've already tried it on, uh, but I have not even opened this yet, so we're both going to be surprised, which is really the most exciting part of this, so let's just get down to it. Shipping is a little brutal. I don't know if that's because I live in Alaska or what, but um, they do get to you pretty fast. I did pay a little extra for it because um, this is going to be for Halloween this year. It might even be for uh, Alaska Comic Con, which is a new con that's going to be in Fairbanks this upcoming year, which is about a six-hour drive from here, here in Anchorage. Um, and then I'm going to meet Austin St. John, the last ranger from the original cast that I haven't met, with the exception of uh, Tree Trang, who passed away, um, gosh, 15 years ago now. So... Um, that's really, really exciting. I'll most likely bring this, but then again, my wife and I might be Anakin and Padme for that event as well. So we'll see. But I will say these guys know how to wrap their stuff, which is also good. My mail carriers can be a little brutal, which I'm probably sure that some of you have experienced in the past. Um, again, I was really excited and impressed with... Um, Excuse me. Really excited and impressed with how the Kylo Ren cosplay came in. Especially the um, the overcoat was heavy. It was thick. It just it felt so realistic, and it was really really cool. As well as the rest of the costume, um, they're great about getting your sizes right and measurements. As long as you provide them the right ones, of course. But gosh, I can already see the green in this. I'm loving this already. I will say that there is another little event that I'm using this for that I can't talk about yet. <laughs> but <laughs> um, by the time that you see um, the video where I actually do a review where I'm actually wearing it and trying it out, then we'll get to talk about that, but not quite yet. So, all right, the rest of the garbage here. Okay, so this came with, um, Pretty much, this is very, very basic. This came with an overcoat, the hood, um, a quiver, and some pants. So very, very simple. But what really grabbed me was just um, the quality. The green is so nice. And I think they do a really good job mimicking whatever they, uh, um, they do a good job mimicking whatever they look at. They don't, 
I don't think they get cheap while using it. I mean, first of all, let's start with this quiver. I mean, oh, gloves. Cool. I didn't expect that at all. Oh, sweet. There are some gauntlets. Okay. So, awesome. We'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, look at this quiver. I mean, this, this is a good, solid material right here. This is not just... I mean, yeah, it squishes and whatnot. I don't expect it to be completely firm, but that kind of goes with the look. But this is actual, like, legit firm cosplay. It's even got the button so you can strap it to your costume. Um, it's got plenty of space to actually put real arrows. It's not just, like, a false bottom. That's really, really neat. So I've been excited about this idea for a little bit. Um, so, yeah, it looks like we also got some gauntlets here. So pretty much we'll get a little bit into it, I guess. So just like this, and it looks like there is a spot for, uh, this could be, this could be a leg or arm, I'm not sure. Guess I'll have to check that out, because these are actually sewed this way. So maybe they are designed for a leg, maybe like shin. Hmm. Not positive, I'll have to look over that some more. I didn't know this was a part of it. Anyway, um... I guess I might want to stand up a little. Well, I can't stand up because you don't see me. Anyway, so we got the, the coat. Sips all the way down. Oh, interesting choice of change of green in there. I don't know if you can really see that color difference. That's really interesting. Um, not that anyone else is going to see it, of course, but... Oh, I guess it doesn't actually unzip at the bottom. There's a stopper. So I guess you have to throw it on over and then zip up, which is... Am I wrong? Oh, I'm wrong. Never mind. See, that would be a really weird idea, wouldn't it? It's just... It's a new zipper. There we go. Okay. So... Um... Yeah. I like it. I like the green. I just... I thought they'd done a really good job, especially in the show, with the choice of green, because it's um, it's not too bright or shiny. It makes it too cliche like some of the old superhero shows, but um, this is super cool. Got some extra thread there. I think this is super cool. Very, very close to the adaptation for the show. The hood's a good size, which is obviously important. Um, I'll probably pull my hair back. I'm, I haven't decided yet when I decide to wear this, but obviously the hood's going to stay up the whole time for, uh, for the convention when we go oh i didn't know i was getting boots too so i'm getting a better deal than i thought and for a moment let's talk a little bit about price i think the original and gosh i need to go back and check but i'm pretty sure the original price of this costume was right around um 240 and then i had a discount from the last time i bought which was only like 10 percent didn't take off much and then they had already put it on sale so i think I think after shipping, my price got barely just above 200 again. So I think for um, all this, that's a pretty sweet deal. Because um, Kylo wasn't that cheap. And then again, he also had a little bit more to his costume. So straight green pants. Um, these look a lot... The consistency is a lot like the ones of the Kylo Ren ones that I have. But um, they did a really good job of my measurements last time. I said I'm the same thing, so I'm sure that these are going to fit just fine. Um, very simple. Also got a belt loop, which is nice. Um, gosh, the worst part of wearing one-piece cosplay is when you have to use the bathroom. And anybody who's a cosplayer knows about that. So, um, so most of this is kind of a pleather. And then it's got a little bit of fabric running down to the front. Must have mixed this with some other cosplay somewhere. There's like additional thread all over the place. Um, but yeah, they did a good job in the past with the pants that I've ordered. So I really, really dig that. And I did know that I was actually going to get uh, boots out of that. I, usually they charge you extra, or maybe I did purchase them. But a lot of times when you go into this cosplay site, that's where it can get a little bit more pricey. They say, here's the costume, add boots, question mark. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Because I need them to match my costume, so. Um, these are less complicated than the Kylo Ren boots. Oh my gosh, so the... The boots that I got for that had, um, so like three latches on the front, and I, I went a size down this time because they were a little oversized last time. There was a lot of space up in between the toes, and they were a little wide, 
As a matter of fact, even no matter how tight I got these around the calf and whatnot, it still felt really, really loose. So the beauty of shoes is no one really looks down at them, but they were, they had a really awesome look, which is why I was okay with that. But I wouldn't size down this time and hopefully that, that pays off. But these look less complicated, lace them up, and then a little Velcro on the back to get it nice and tight around the calf. I'm down with that. Looks also like I got some little, <laughs> they're pretty much cheap. Cheapy gloves and a very elastic pulley. Um, eh, I guess if it goes with the costume, I might not even wear these as a piece because um, I don't know. I don't necessarily think that's necessary. Nor, if I remember correctly, does Oliver Queen actually wear gloves. Maybe that was an accident or like, oh, here's some free gloves. So um, that's really all there is. Let's see what this matches, how close this is. I think I did an all right job in terms of the green to that, to this. This is not bad, so happy about that. Looks like I made a pretty good choice. Like I said, I got this separately off of Amazon. Um, again, form-fitting, not the most comfortable, but when you go into eyewear like this, that's the way it is. You don't really get to choose how comfortable it is. I It has this cheap back, but the beauty of ignoring this is because it's going to be under a hood and under all this hair. So you're not even, even if I had my head down, nobody would even see it. Not to mention long hair also covers where it ends. So it makes it look a little bit more legit. Like it's just on your face as if it were a, you know, Nightwing or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, by the next time I'm hoping to get a review video out of actually wearing the cosplay over, I don't know, the next week or two. Fingers crossed, five classes, 30 assignments a week. So <laughs> we'll see. But I do look forward to hearing you guys. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Um, if you have any further questions about Sam Cosplay, I'd be happy to talk about it. They've been really good to me so far. I have only gotten two cosplay costumes, but they're, ex they're, they're really good at communication. Um, they're always handing out discounts, which is not uncommon for cosplay, but I find these prices to be lower without actually lowering the quality. So... Anytime you can find a bargain like that, that's really, really impressive where it's win-win, you know, get to have your cake and eat it too. Um, again, they're also on line, simcosplay.com. They're expanding their stuff every day. Uh, just from the four or five months ago when I ordered Kylo and Ray to what, uh, what it is now, I mean, I don't know if they're getting more people, I don't know if their sales are going up, but th I see them rolling out new costumes all the time, which is really, really exciting. This is, I mean going to keep me to be a long time buyer. So I'm really, really excited. Um, SenshiCon was this weekend. That's If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's an annual con here in Alaska in September. Uh, it's mostly anime based, but over the years it's grown out to be a little bit more. And, and it's been something that, um, um, I don't know if it's still growing. I went last year, wasn't very impressed, which is why I'm here tonight doing a review on my new cosplay instead of being there. I just Anime is not really my thing. I like some, but um, also the guests last year were... I only went because Johnny Young Bosch, and that was the uh, second Black Ranger out of Mighty Morphin. So um, I really went because of him, and I didn't even really have to do that because I met him at Power Morphicon last year in August. So um, yeah, but I'm really excited to get this tried on. Again, I have this for Halloween. I have this for Alaska Comic Con, but something extra, extra, extra special. And I can't wait to tell you guys about it because I am so stoked to use it for that. It's, I don't know. I can't go into too much detail right now, but I will tell here in the next couple of weeks. So again, drop a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, and let me know if you're a cosplayer. Tell me what you're into. Do you have any sites you recommend? Um, do you have any cosplay ideas? And tell me if there's anything you think that I would fit to. Um, I'm a big lover of DC Power Rangers. Um, X-Men, a lot of different things. So just let me know. I love uh, having the geek talk with other people, especially cosplayers. So I will check you later.